Hey guys, I'm Jeff, the Homestead Dad. Welcome to the uh, vlog. And this, not as handsome as me fellow right here, is Jason from 7-7 Crossbar Ranch. He got me some hay yesterday that has more alfalfa in it for prudence. So uh, we're going to get this rolled out here real quick. Okay, so I'm leaving those bales right there. I'm gonna go uh, milk the cow, fed the pigs already while I was um, helping Jason pull those bales off of there. Uh, Prudy's getting into the routine again. She's meeting me at the gate, so that's good stuff. Well, in the immortal words of Jaws, we're gonna need a bigger bucket, or boat, or whatever it was. Uh, filled that one up this morning. Just got her milked out, and that's two gallons. If I move it too fast, it sloshes out of the bucket. So I'm gonna need a bigger bucket. I only use the plastic when I'm giving it to the animals. Stainless steel when we keep it for ourselves. I don't know if you can hear me with all the roosters making all that racket. Stainless steel when we keep it for ourselves. Anyway, we've gotta to get to church, so I'm gonna go feed this to the pigs. I'm gonna put everything away, and I will see you guys in a bit. Guys, we just got home. We went to church, then we had a program afterwards. And we went out to dinner, we met my parents. Then we went over to their house and picked up a freezer that they're no longer using. This one right here that we will be able to use for our beef when we take bullseye in. I'm gonna work on cleaning up the barn a little bit because I wanna organize it so I can do some other things. And then um, I'm gonna go out and milk. But this is gonna be a two day vlog, so I will see you guys tomorrow. Hey guys, that was quick, right? So you can see, it's light out. I don't know if you can see it's snowing. It should show up on there. Um, it's snowing pretty good. Um, I'm gonna go milk later than I'd like to milk but I wanted to make sure uh, the baby was up before I went out because I just want to make sure anyway um, after I milk we're gonna run to our church offices because I need to pick up some paperwork for um, uh, engaged couple that we're gonna be mentoring before their wedding so uh, and I would want to like to do it before it snows too much more so I'm gonna go milk I've been looking at milkers I'm pretty convinced I'm gonna get a milker We'll see, but um, now I'm just trying to figure out if I get a surge type belly milker or a Delaval um, bucket milker. So I'm trying to figure out what's going to work the best. Uh, either way, it should make milking so much faster because you can milk all four teats at the same time. And then it's just look, it literally looks like it takes a couple minutes just to clean them out. So um, I'm not wearing gloves. I'm going to go change my milking stuff and I'll see you guys in a bit. You know what? Better yet, I'm going to use the magic of YouTube and I'm going to go ahead and change into my uh, milking clothes like this. I gotta love YouTube, right? That was quick, man. Um, I even changed my boots. You guys probably can't tell. These are the ones that I'm wearing now. I don't particularly like. Um, we'll see how they do for milking. They're a little bit taller than my regular chore boots. The reason I'm wearing them is because you see these? These are relatively new. If you look at the tread, the grip is worn off of the, the bottom of those ribbings. These ones here have a lot more grip on them. Uh, I'm trying to think. Last winter when I was milking, if I can find the link to the video, I recounted the story. Um, got a little bit wet from dumping a bucket of milk on my milk on myself and falling all over myself so I'm gonna see if I can make these boots work um, with the more grip should be less slippy so you see Prudence has kind of gotten back into the swing of things every time I come up to milk she's waiting for me again um, first few days I don't know if she just wasn't interested in eating wasn't interested in standing um, like I told you guys last night she kicked the bucket over and I really can't blame her um, She's, you know, she does such a good job standing, but she's not used to standing for half an hour, 40, 45 minutes. I mean, I was done milking, like I told you guys, last lactation. It was like 10 minutes, 15 minutes tops. So she's been doing a really good job standing, but she, uh, she just stepped and I, normally I can pull the bucket out of the way fast enough and I couldn't last night. So she knocked over most of the bucket of milk. So those guys over there didn't get as much milk. But anyway, I'm gonna go milk. Okay guys, I just finished milking the fr front two quarters and I got almost two gallons of milk. 
being the smart guy that I am, I brought another bucket out to do the back quarters so that this one isn't in danger of getting kicked over. But that took me 20 minutes. That's too long. And I've got to do the back yet. So she just moved, if you couldn't tell, if you didn't hear her step. So we'll see how the backs go. But at least you can see the chickens are enjoying the milk. Anyway, I'm going to get to the back ones. Okay, guys. I'm glad I took the second bucket in there. So this white bucket is 2.1 U.S. gallons. And it's over half full. So I got over a gallon out of her back two quarters and almost two gallons out of her front this was almost full the chickens actually drank probably an inch or an inch and a half out of there so um, probably about three gallons and one milking that's the most I've ever gotten that's a lot of milk um, I'm trying to get to twice a day milking and I have a feeling that this is kind of what I'm gonna be seeing for twice a day milking like Two and a half to three gallons, especially right now after she's just freshened. So, this stuff is going to the pigs. You can already hear they're super happy over there because they know they're getting milk. Um, yeah, and then uh, I've got to figure out it's already snowing quite hard, so I've got to decide if we're going to go drive now or if it's going to stop and then we can go later. Um, but I'll let you know, I'll let you guys know. So at church this Sunday. I was told that one of my subscribers really likes the animal shots. Not so much me, the animals. So I'm gonna try to grab some animal shots. It was actually nice at church this weekend because we had a, it was called Name Tag Sunday and everybody wore name tags. I've got a little secret. I'm not very good with names. I used to be good with names. Now, I blame my kids. I don't sleep enough for it to go from short-term memory to long-term memory. So, if I ever don't know your name, it's not because I don't think you're important. Or I don't want to know your name. It's just I don't sleep enough. That's my excuse. So, anyway, let's find some animal shots. Oh, it's really snowing. Okay, now I've got to change back. I know, like, you guys are probably thinking, why does he keep on complaining about how busy he is? He can just snap and things get done. I don't get it either. I should get more done. Oh, I did want to tell you, those boots that I wore, the ones, the higher boots, with the more grip, way better. Way, way better. Didn't feel like I was going to, um, you know, slip around, and they weren't uncomfortable. I was a little bit worried that sitting down in that bucket with my knees bent, they'd be uncomfortable, but they were fine. Homestead Boy 1 was collecting eggs. We had one chicken die. We're not sure why. I think it may have gotten sat on by something. What are you gonna do? Guys, we just got home. It's, uh, I didn't take any video on the way home because it's really, really snowing. I bet you we were working on four inches right now. We were supposed to get one to three for the day. I bet you we're four plus right now. And uh, it's still coming down really, really hard. That couple, um, the couple who we're gonna be mentoring Still wants to come over, even though they got a pretty long drive. So, um, this should be interesting. We'll see how it goes. So, it's still snowing. They're not here. It's, uh, time check is, I don't know, 8.10, something like that. <clears throat> um, it's still snowing really hard. You want to say hi, bud? Hello. So, normally when I'm putting it away, it's not snowing quite this hard. So, if you look at the tractor, it is still really wet. So, I'm going to take... We haven't been using the electric power blower for a while because we haven't needed it. So I was using a whisk broom, but I was getting more snow on it than I was getting off when I was trying to do it. So I'm going to try to at least get all the snow off of here. We're going to have a mess for a while. The humidors, hum, dehumidifier will be on high. I can talk to try to keep all this from pooling and making a mess. But it's uh, we're getting more snow than I said we were going to. But why well, is that a surprise?